sometimes when you meet people you instantly see what you need to see you immediately feel like you've met someone that is special someone that is playing at a higher level in life someone who was born to impact change in the world the way they look the way their eyes look the, their body gestures their energy just the way that they even look at you you feel like this person is somebody that is uniquely identifiable as special they light up the room they change the temperature everywhere they go it's like the michael jackson and billy jean type video where all these steps light up they illuminate everywhere they go they're game changers the first time that i met cornice chalette had a conversation with her saw the pictures of her on different media sites i knew what i was looking at most importantly, I knew once I spoke to her and had the opportunity to hopefully work with her, that the sky would be the limit. Quintessay Chalette is a superstar. Period. No ands, ifs, or buts. There's, it's, there's no questions at this point. I'm so honored to interview her inside the house of his, for everyone to hear her journey, her story, and most importantly, her humility. She never believes what everybody knows. That's what makes her great. House of Hits, Vinny, Serge, Dorian, let's get it. People, we live in the House of Hits studio right now in Miami. It's a great time to be alive because you woke up. A lot exactly. of people, a lot of people, they take that for granted. I think, I, you know, my grandma used to always tell me, she said, boy, feel the wind. Slow down sometimes, feel the wind. I said, grandma, what you mean? She said, that's God reminding you to appreciate the earth. Mm hmm so we just sit down and swing and the wind would be blowing. I'd be and she'll sit in the swing next to my grandma and the wind be going and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I just be like, just free. Mm -hmm. Just feel free. You know. Life sometimes can be ugly. It can be dark, uncertain. So many things come at us and we don't really sometimes think about what we do have. Sometimes music makes us appreciate what we do have. You know, when Aretha Franklin saying R E S P E C T she went down to Alabama and got with this all white band and made a sound because she felt like she wasn't getting respect for her sound. She was singing mm -hmm. songs that she really didn't believe in. A lot of people didn't know that. She put like seven albums out, mm -hmm. but it wasn't Aretha. She went down to Alabama, these guys, it was all band, and played this melody. And she said, well, Jennifer Hudson said, R E S P E C T. And everything started moving. She wanted respect. A lot of times, music tells us things we need to hear. That's the great thing about, you know, musicians. They create a sound, they create, they write lyrics that just change your whole perspective. It tells they speak for us. They the yeah. voice of the voiceless. Talking to Quintessa Chalette today, when I first met her, an intern saw her blog on a, a magazine called Ride. It was like an international thing. Mm -hmm. And they said, Jonathan, this girl is amazing. She got dope music. I'm like, all right, all right cool. Get at me. Send it to me. And I saw it and I was I saw something. And, you know, I saw some people that understood even I don't think what they knew they understood, mm -hmm. which was she has something. Music marks time, it's the universal language of the world. It's the way an artist can reveal how they feel and their genius. I'm honored today to be speaking second time be speaking to Quentin say Chalette inside the House of Hits. Likewise. Pow Powered by Hype Fresh Magazine, 99.7 The Heat Miami. We live in effect. Yes. Quentin say Chalette, welcome to the podcast. Thank you and shout out to Hype Fresh, y'all. <laughs> I want to ask you something, right? Yeah. They always say that I have a friend who is a mountain climber mm -hmm. and I always ask her, you don't get paid for it. Why do you do it? You could die. She'll call me and be like, hey, I'm climbing mountain today. Pray for me. I'm like, okay, but I told you don't do it. <laughs> hey, music. You're smart, educated. People like you. You have a, you can be anything. Mm -hmm. You're climbing the Mount Everest in life of music where you could fall. You could just fall and break your leg. Mm -hmm. Even 
career wise, mm-hmm. you know, kill off certain things. Mm-hmm. Why do you do it? That's a really great question Mm -hmm. and usually if I haven't asked myself that question before I have to ask myself first but I definitely understand where you're coming from because it it has been a little um, of a a rocky road even though I'm still towards the base of the mountain if that makes sense to you Um, I feel like every step I take the more serious and focused I get I feel like Life is asking me how bad do you own it, mm. and it's it's so interesting because usually, you know, I would crumble. And after having that conversation with you, and just having to be ready and prepared, and to walk in, and to, um, I should say, to, I guess, develop more so like callous. Um, in order to continue to 